Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. As you have seen a lot of buzz around AI and especially ChatGPT, the whole world is on the edge thanks to the Microsoft's open AI and the integration with the browser. So today we will integrate Siri with ChatGPT to make Siri even better. So without any further ado, let's get started. The best part is you should only do it once and use the smart assistant on all your Apple devices. I'll first show you how to add the shortcut on a Mac device. Click on the link in the description for the shortcut. There is also a backup link. Okay, when you click on the link, it should open shortcuts app automatically. Or if you use Safari to open the link, it should prompt you to click on get shortcut and then click allow. Then click Allow Shortcut. Okay, now that the Super Siri shortcut is added, right click and click Edit. You can change the name of the shortcut like this. I'll just name it Smart. You can also change the logo or even the color of the shortcut. Now comes the most important step to get the Smart Siri working. You should add the API from OpenAI. Click on the link in the description to open OpenAI and log in with your credentials. It's very simple to create an account for yourself. Click on the avatar on the top right corner. Now click on View API Keys. Now click on create new key. Copy the key and add it to the text field. Now scroll down and you can modify the way you want the prompt to be. I don't want to change the prompt. I'll just leave it as it is. Close the window. Click on the play button on the shortcut, then type anything. I mean, you can type anything and click done. Click allow once you get that prompt. You just need to do it once. Now that the shortcut is added, I'll add it to my dock for easier access. Okay, for some reason, the icon and the color is different on my dock. If you know why it happened, please let me know in the comments. Once I click on the shortcut on the dock, it should open up a box. You can write any question and click done. Behind the scenes, ChatGPT generates a response and shows it here. Do note, this doesn't give you the latest information as it's not connected to internet and it's only trained with the information before 2021. You can resize the window and copy the text to be used anywhere. I named it in such a way when I call Siri and followed by the name of the shortcut, in my case, Smart, and ask my question and wait for the answer. Smart. How can I help you? What is the latest iPhone? On it. The latest iPhone is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, released on the 20th of September 2019. Wait a minute. Are you enjoying the video? If you do, please let me know by clicking the like button. Okay, now the biggest question is, how do you add Siri shortcut using your iPhone? When you click on the link in the description on your iPhone, it should prompt you to add it to your shortcuts app. I'm not adding it again. If you click on the three dots on the top right corner of the shortcut, you go to edit mode. Here under text field, you can add the API key you generated from OpenAI website. As mentioned earlier, the link will be in the description and scroll down to change prompt if you prefer. Tap here to change the name, color and icon of the shortcut. 
If you tap and hold the shortcut and then tap details, make sure show on Apple Watch is turned on and tap done. Okay, now that the shortcut is added, let's test it out. Hey Siri, smart. How can I help you? How do you ride a bike on a moon? This is the actual time it took to generate the response. The AI will generate a unique response for each question. If I ask Siri the same question, I'm just presented with a bunch of links. How do you ride a bike on a moon? Here's what I found. If I ask the same question smart. to Smart Siri again, it'll give me a different I answer. How do you ride a bike on a moon? On the moon, one could use a stick or the tool to. Smart. How can I help you? Give me a recipe for butter chicken. Ingredients: two cups cooked diced chicken, two tablespoons melted butter, one half cup heavy cream, one. Hey Siri. Smart. It would be even better I if I you? copy the answer, isn't it? How tall is Leaning Tower? To do that, here is a trick. Take a screenshot of the answer you just received. Go to your gallery and then tap on the text to highlight. This way, you can save the text anywhere you want and share it with your friends and family. This will be incredibly useful when you ask Smart Siri to write a letter or an essay. You have to do nothing to get your smartwatch to be even smarter. All you have to do is just invoke Siri and call Smart. Then ask your questions to your watch. Hey Siri. Smart. How can I help you? What is the difference between a moon and a earth? Your watch will read out the answer for you. As simple as that. The earth is much larger than the moon, with a radius of 3,959 miles, 6,371 it just blows my mind how far technology has come and a simple device wrapped to your wrist can do so much than we had ever imagined a few months ago. Alright guys, if you got something out of this, please like the video if you haven't already. Comment if you have any questions and smash that subscribe button for more such amazing content. Thank you.